We're here to have a, a crack at breaking the world wind-powered land speed record. We've just trucked the uh, land yacht from New Zealand all the way across through to Adelaide and that's actually right here at Lake Gairdner. This surface is exactly what I'm after basically. Uh, dry. <laughs> it's something I've been thinking about for a long time now and just can't wait to uh, get the land yacht out of the container and get it rigged up. This, this environment is 10 times different to what we've ever dealt with before. Everywhere else we've had equipment and machinery to help us get the craft together. Here we're, we're kind of jury rigging everything. It's a, it's a bit more of a challenge, but way more exciting. sealed um, part of the craft. The only, only way for things to get in there is just through the um, sliding gaps and the fairings and, and it's quite amazing how much it's gotten in there. Every little day, every little learning is a, a great experience. I mean, we haven't pushed the speeds much over 150 kilometres an hour with this craft yet. So hopefully over the next few days, we'll get that opportunity with the weather. The surface has really dried out quite a lot in the last two or three days. Unfortunately, again, we're greeted with, you know, a really super thin layer of water pretty much across the whole lake surface so the craft's all ready to go the boys are all ready to go we've got really good breeze forecast for this afternoon but um, unfortunately with that bit of rain uh, the surface is not going to be ideal for us okay you ready yep, yep okay Two twenty two point five, uh, slowing down here slowly. So good, he absolutely nailed it. I think we just did over 220 kilometres an hour, so pretty stoked with that. Um, certainly pretty, uh, pretty puffy and shifty, and uh, I thought it was going to be difficult, but yeah, it's super, super, just a different game. The puffs and the shifts coming through, I can't steer around it quick enough, so it's been a, been a huge day. 